Hey, it's Jen with another Tech Tips 411 tutorial. This is an ongoing series on Canva, so today I want to talk to you about the video editor. If you haven't used the video editor in Canva, it is awesome and it keeps getting better and better. So let's dive in and see what it looks like to create a video in Canva. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into your account and you're going to choose create a design. And you'll notice educational video is one of your options. If you don't see it at the top, you can search for it. So I'm going to select educational video. Here's what's great. You can actually start from a template over here on the left-hand side where they've actually created some options. I can also start from scratch. I'm going to just go ahead and start from scratch and I'm going to be able to add elements over here on the left-hand side. So I can add elements. I can upload my own content. I'm going to go down here to apps and I'm going to actually add in other options. I can pull in my own audio. I can pull in background images if I'd like to put text on for my opening titles. I can also pull in video that they have available in Canva. I also might want to search for some photos. Uh, I could also pull in other content into my video if I wanted to. So let's go back over here to uh, video options. And I'm going to make this video about travel. What's great about using this with your students is you know that it's safe for them to search for content inside of Canva so they can search on any different topic and find video for that. So let's see here. I think I like this one right here. Pull this in and I can use this video and resize it. Is that now I can go up here to these options and I'm going to say edit video. I can actually go in here and do a couple things. I'm going to show you this background remover here in just a second. This is the new magic. I could adjust. So if you were trying to convey that this is uh, back in the day, students can use this and kind of give it a black and white effect if you wanted. I'm going to go to this timer up here with the scissors art. I'm going to click on that and I can adjust when I want that video to start. So I can drag this from the beginning or from the end. Another good tip to know is I want it from the middle. I want to split it right about here. So I'm going to go like six seconds in. I can right click and I get an option. When I do that, I can actually split that page. And that means now I can edit that beginning or end of that middle clip that I've just cut right here. Some other good things to know is that I can actually go to this plus. I can choose to add a transition. The transitions that they provide, there's a handful of them, not a lot, but this is great for students to be able to indicate time in a video. It started with three transitions and they keep adding more. I've got a couple options. So maybe I'm going to add that circle wipe. And so now when I go from this clip right here, let's play it that circle wipe effect happens. So it's a great way to show a time jump, just kind of move the video along. I'm going to go down here and find another video so I can add my video frames down here. So notice I can rearrange these as well. So it's drag and drop, very easy to do that. So I'm going to bring this back down here and I'm going to find another video. So I like this one right here, but I actually want to put that cat in another location. So I can search for our elements as a student. I can search for an element to tell a story. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to go to that edit video and I'm going to go to the effects tab and I'm going to go to background remover. And it did a pretty good job. I would just crop this maybe over here a little bit, bring this in here. And now I've got this plain background so I can use either a video background. So maybe I want this cat because we we're talking about vacation. The cat is on the beach and I'm going to say, set this video as the background. And so now I have my cat here. Now I'm going to point out right here that there is some um, spill effect because I cropped that video. So actually I would probably bring it down a little bit here so you don't notice it. I know it's comical. A cat right there on the beach. So that background remover is awesome. I want to show you another element that you need to know about when creating videos. So I'm going to add another slide here and this time I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to pull in a few elements here. So um, if we're talking about travel, I'm just, let's just type in travel so we get a couple of options. So maybe I want this little globe here and my suitcase and maybe I want to now add in some text to explain uh, where I'm going. So I'm going to find the text that I want. I love this glow one, so it's my go-to over here. So now I've got this right here and I want, what I want to happen is I want things to appear at a certain time. We'll make this a little bit larger. Now you can have this fine tune adjustment. So I want this, I'm going to select all three elements. So I've left, uh, held down the shift and I've selected them all and I'm going to right click. And now I'm going to see this option that says show timing. So when I do that, look what happens down here. I get this box 
where it means I'm going to uh, be able to adjust the timing. I'm going to hit this arrow here and notice it shows I have three elements. I have two animated video elements and a text element. So I might want that text to come in first and then I might want this to come in second and I want this to come in last. So now what's going to happen is that when I hit play, let's take a look. Vacation popped up, then that appeared, and then that went away. But notice I could have the text stay up the whole time as well. So this lets you fine tune. I can also go down here to grid view so I can actually see my elements if I wanted to rearrange them. And then once you're done, I can choose to share this and I can download this as an mp4. I'd also like to point out that we can add in some music. So let's go, maybe I want, uh, I can do music and I can do sound effects. Let's get rid of our notes over here. Let's go over here to audio. What do you think we can find a cat's meow? Let's look for a meow. There we go. I've got a meow that I can add. Ooh, that's a little scary meow, but look at how many different options I have for audio. I can put my marker right here and I'm going to add another meow and notice I can actually stack my audio. I'm going to put another one over here. So now this, this should sound interesting. We're going to have multiple meows, <laughs> but think about how creative your students can get. That's just a few ways you can use the Canva video editor. Lots of great features. And the best part is that your students and you can collaborate on your videos. So I can't wait to see what you create. If you found this video beneficial, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching.